what is going on guys in last video we have successfully created the login page as well as sign up page where we have name email password sign up button login button in this video we are going to integrate the firebase in our application so that we can do the login and sign up with the firebase authentication so let's get back to the project so first thing what we will do we will create the project in the firebase and we will connect our application to the firebase so for that what we can do we have tools over here if in the tools window we have this firebase you can click on this and you can see we have lots of option over here so we need authentication so let's click on this and you can see google facebook login we have everything so what we will do for integrating we will use a custom authentication system let's click on this and connect your app to the firebase so we will click on this it will open the browser and we have to log in there so let's click on connect to firebase so it has opened the firebase console you can create a project over here if you have already created the project from the console you can connect that i'll create a new project click on it so name has been auto detected easy shop let's click on continue let's disable this analytics for now let's click on create project so our project is ready click on continue now you can see we have created the project you can click on connect allow it now it is connected to our android application if you go back to the android project we can see connected over here now we have to add the sdk that are dependencies so let's click on this add the firebase authentication sdk and accept changes it will add these dependencies so once dependency has added we can close this for now go to the firebase console so let's open the firebase console again and go to your project so here we have to enable the authentication so if you see over here in the build section we have lots of features over here so we require authentication to do login and sign up so let's click on authentication get started so here there are different providers but we are using email password you can use phone also for this application we are using email password click on this email password let's click on enable over here and passwordless sign we are not enabling for now save it now you can see we have enabled in sign in method we have email and password if you go to users we don't have any users so when we create the account users will be displayed over here so let's get back to the project and here is start integrating the firebase so first thing what i will do we'll close everything from here we'll create auth view model so that we can do the logic of login and sign up over there so for this what i will do i'll create a new package view model and inside this i'll create kotlin file that will be auth view model and it will be a class so how to create view model i have separate video in the channel you can watch that so here also we are doing same thing so view models we have to extend it from view model now this is our view model now here we will create two methods that will be sign up and another will be login so we'll use login later first we will go to sign up so in sign up what we will do we will just sign up using all the values from here email address full name and password so for authentication for authentication we require just email and password but the name and details of the user will store in firestore database so first thing what we will do we need firebase auth we will create variable that will be auth let's say equals to firebase dot auth so auth is required to login and sign up it will create the account using email and password full name it won't store so we'll store it in a firestore we'll enable the firestores we'll go to build over here here we will select firestore database and here create database so you can select the location click on next start in test mode create so our database is created we will add the data from here so second thing we require is firestore so we will say firebase dot firestore so we don't have dependencies so for that we will go to tools firebase go to cloud firestore and add firestore sdk to your app accept changes now if you see we have firestore now these two things are required so in sign up method first we'll write the sign up method what we will do we'll take email from the ui as parameter name also and password also also we'll pass one function callback so that whenever we call this function if it has error or something it will return the message so here i will create one function callback that we'll call as on result result it will return either true or false let's say boolean and if it is false that means if it is not success then we'll return some string message so that we can show it in a ui this callback will have boolean value and the string we'll return it as unit now we'll write the logic so how to create the account so with this auth we have some method if you see over here auth dot you can see there are lots of method over here create user with email and password sign in with email and password current user language code lots of things are there we will use create user with email and password now what it requires it requires two string that is that is email and password so let's pass email over here and password so that's it it will create the account but 
it is asynchronous function so we should know when it is created or not it is created successfully or it has some error message so for that we'll add a listener so what is the listener that is add on complete listener if you click on it it will return some task if you see over here it will return task so from that task we'll get to know either it is successful or not so what we can do if it is successful if the task is successful else it is not successful when it is not success in on result what we will do on result will pass false and will pass message what will be the message it will be from the task itself so it dot exception dot localized message so it is it can be null so i will give null check also make this string as nullable so whenever we have success we don't have to pass anything so here i will give this nullable string now whenever it is failed it will give false and the message so when it is success when we successfully created the account in firebase authentication what will happen it will create the account but we are not storing in firestore yet now we will store so how we will store we will store the data email name and password using a data class so let's create a data class let's call let's add it in a package let's call it as model and inside model we'll make user data or user model it will be a data class and here i will add some variable let's say name and we will store email so we will not store password because password is handled by authentication we don't have to store the password it is not good to store the password so only name and email we are storing later we can add other data as well so right now only name and email so close this user model and here we will create the user model variable first so value user model equals to user model from email and name so first thing is name second is email so here we have the user model which has name and email because it is already success now we'll add this data in the firestore database so here what we will do we'll create a collection first so firestore dot collection we can have multiple collections so first collection let's make users collection inside that we will have all the users so what i will do i will create a collection users and inside that we will add the document means whole object we'll add so users dot document so one more thing is in the user collection we will have multiple users since there will be multiple users we have to identify them so what how we will identify so whenever we create the account it assign an id to the account so whenever we create account in firebase authentication it will assign an id so with that id we'll uniquely identify so for that whenever it is success we'll first take the user id so how we'll do that let's say variable user id equals to from the task we will have result in that result we'll have user in that user we will have uid whenever account is created it will assign a unique id that will be user id so what we will do we'll store it in user model as well so here we'll create one more variable let's say uid and we'll we'll make it a string and here also we'll store that user id in the firestore database so it won't be null because it is already successful so i will do it won't be null now user model is created we'll add this user model in the firestore database we'll add as a document in the users collection so document id will give the same user id here and we'll set the value so what will be the value value will be user model so in the users collection it will add a user model with the unique id that is user id it will create data in the database but we have to add complete listener so that we'll get to know either it is success or failure so here also we'll add complete listener here we'll give task name let's say db task so whenever it is success so if db task is successful what we will do we'll assign it to on result that will be true true and we'll pass null we don't have to pass any message because account is already created and if it is not successful what you can do is on result you can pass false and you can pass some message something went wrong so in this way our sign up method is complete we'll create the account in auth once account is created we'll get the id name and email we'll create a user model and in the user collection we'll set that user model so this method is completed we'll pass these values and on result we'll show some data in the ui so what we will do first let's integrate this sign up in our application so how we'll do that so let's go to sign up screen sign up screen here what we will do we'll get the auth view model so auth view model here we'll initialize by default let's import this so we can use this auth view model in sign up screen so now below in the button on click whenever we click on this sign up button we'll do auth view model dot sign up this is the method we have created let's pass email name password and on result what we will get we will get two things one is success boolean another is error message so we'll get the boolean and a string here like this we'll do and here if it is success if it is success that means account is created else account is not created we have done something wrong so what we will do 
whenever there is exception we will show a toast so for that what i will do i will create a util class so that we can use it anywhere so app util let's make it object and inside this let's create function so toast for the toast we require context context and we require a message that's it here toast dot make text context message will be message toast length will be long dot so this method we will use everywhere to show the toast so here we can use app util dot show toast uh, we need context so here what we can do here initialize a variable context equals to local context dot current this context we can use in the jetpack compose here context and pass the message the message will get from this error message if it is not since it is nullable so what we will do if it is null then just show something went wrong so in this way it will be success or failure so let's run the application and see either failure is working or not in success we are not doing anything let's see i'll go to sign up and i will just write a wrong email address without any validation first name let's say test password also one two three sign up you can see email address is badly formatted that means it went to firebase and here it is failed and then it is showing the localized message from exception in the toast over here so if you write correct email but let's say password let's give three character only you can see password is invalid at least six character in this way failure is working if you give correct email address let's say one dot gmail dot com full name let it be test one and password let's give one 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 six character we are giving correct now it should create the account as well and it should store in users collection as well so let's click on sign up we are not doing anything on success so we have to check over here let's go to authentication you can see over here we have test one at gmail.com and it is created just now so it is assigned user id as well you can see this is unique user id if you go to firestore you can see user collection is created and in that collection we have this unique id and in that and in that document we have email we have name and we have uid so it is working perfectly as expected only thing is whenever it is success we have to navigate so that's all for this video in next video we'll integrate the login as well so that we can log in with email address and password that we have created just now also when we have successfully created account and successfully logged in we'll navigate to the home page so if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button if you have any doubts and queries please comment below i will reply for you don't forget to hit the subscribe button before going see you in the next video Bye bye